Hey, Belinda. Is it about Edelman? What's up to Eric? Bird? Roy? Hey, bud. How are you? Matthew? Yeah, that's what I thought, uh, Belinda. I had a feeling it would be about Jules. Brandon? I wish the Patriots organization had more class and let him retire instead of cutting him and basically forcing him to retire. Hey, Mario. I figured that's what happened, Roy. Um, I just think that was kind of a class classless move on New England's part. You figured the conversation could have went, hey, our plans are to cut you. Um, because of the physical, would you like to retire before we do that? Well, Brandon, welcome aboard. Uh, Colin, no, but thank you. Oh, Derek, here's, here's something that I have no problem, problem saying. Julian Edelman, heck of a ball player. Was he the cleanest ball player in the world? N no, but he was a dang fine wide receiver who carved a niche out and made himself indispensable. I really don't have many bad things to say about Edelman. I don't. Yeah, I remember the dirty hits. I, I remember those. But you know what? Football's football. It happens. He wasn't regularly known for that. It happened occasionally. But uh, my hat's off. If I was wearing a hat, hats off to Edelman. Great, great career. Great career. Um, no problem saying that. No problem saying that. What's up, Doug? Uh, yeah, Phoenix. Yep, we uh, got fleeced in that trade. We gave away two good players and got bupkis in return, but I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, Brandon, that's all I do is sports breaks, basically. Occasionally some Pokemon thrown in there. Uh, Roy, would you like to begin the week with your absolutely lights out amazing break? Maestro? Uh, Maestro, yes. I finished the studio finally. Well, we... <laughs> Roy is like, ask it again. <laughs> I said, would you like to start the week with your absolute knockout break from Friday? And here, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Roy. I'm, you know, I'm always honest with you, my friend. I'm always brutally to a fault honest. A lot of people were let down that you fell asleep. A lot of people wanted to see this. <laughs> there were people chanting your name in the chat, hoping it would <laughs> wake you up. Not gonna lie. Not going to lie. All right, bud, any particular order you want these in? No, nah, Brandon, we sell out all the time. If you head over to DA Card World uh, backslash live, you'll see what we have available for the week. As always, dealer's choice. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to need... Pretty big boat. Let me get that ready. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it started. I got to get used to using the stream deck. I keep wanting to click on everything. 
All right, this is Roy's break from Friday. We're cracking it open to begin the week. And Icon Series 1 by Hit Parade 21 Pop Vinyl. 7 out of 50 will be the starter. Uh, Benj, that's true. Toucan Sam. No, it's just the toucan. Uh, that is the Comic-Con International Limited Edition. It is their very own toucan. I've never seen that before. That's pretty awesome. Seventeen out of fifty. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. This one's flocked. What up, Smokey? It is flocked. Four out of fifty. <laughs> ah, Phoenix is getting on Roy. <laughs> Careful, Phoenix. Oh, that's always a good sign. That's always a good sign. Flocked means it's fuzzy to the touch. Well, it depends. Is uh, Scruff McGruff carrying a uh, officer's uh, handgun? Oh, they're always after me, Lucky Charms. It's Lucky the Leprechaun. He's got a golden spoon. I'm surprised that's not gold. What up, Oscar? Uh, if it's on my list, I can. Anything after 4 p.m. Eastern is next business day unless I happen to have it on hand. After this break, I will let you know. Eight out of 50. It's Twinkie the Kid, limited edition Chase. Instead of his hostess kerchief or bandana, whatever you want to call it, he's got a polka dot one. Different boots too? Yep, different boots. He's got the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader boots on. You've never eaten a Twinkie, Belinda. I almost feel like I have, they have them in your country, right? Oh, Roy, I know they're blue. <laughs> I know. Remember, Roy, I was in, uh, I was in Dallas, uh, Thanksgiving two years ago, uh, when the Buffalo Bills were there. I'm not going to say how the game ended, but let's just say I was there. Playbook foosball, speaking of Dallas Cowboys... Uh, well, Belinda, it's, they're not very healthy. <laughs> uh, I'll look, Derek. Just be <laughs> very, very familiar. What up, 
up, JRD? How you doing? Baby Chark. Out of 299. Gibby. Out of 99. Kirk, out of only 15. And the first wide receiver taken in the draft, Henry Ruggs III. Out of 249. You know, I am curious when Vegas, now that they're known as Vegas, when they're going to realize they are absolute doo-doo at picking wide receivers. I don't know how many people with the last name Davis have tried and failed picking wide receivers. Sutton, two ninety nine. What's up, Panda? Eason, one ninety nine. Amari. You could argue he was the exception to that rule. That almost proves it. If Amari Cooper is the best wide receiver you've ever picked, what does that say about all the other ones? Uh, Tim Brown, that was the Elder Davis. That was when, I would argue, that's when the Elder Davis still had a head on his shoulders. J.K. Dobbins. Out of 199. You look at the current... Davis that owns the team you look at his haircut and you tell me that man is sane if you're a, a, a billionaire or darn near a billionaire and your hair looks like that there's something wrong with you MVS out of 99 DK, two ninety nine Austin Eckler, one ninety nine and out of two ninety nine, Zach Moss. I like Eckler. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mario. Oh, look, Bill's card. Somebody's at the door. There you go, Doug. Try not to cry. Hey, listen, man. Bills are not bad. We typically don't cheat. Mims, 199. Rager, 199. Komet, 199. And out of 199, how about Clyde? He's pretty good. Clear cut. Uh, yes, Matt, it is going to be at its originally scheduled time. It did sell out on time today.
Nice. I like it, Doug. That out of 99 is Caden Premium. All right, the next one needs to be from Dallas. Close. Out of 35, Keith Yandel from Florida. Hey, Comic-Con, how are you? From the Vancouver Canucks, how about the future watch of Brock Besser? That's 1819 clear cut. Not a bad throwback to get. Oh, wrong jersey, great player, Palladium, Patty LaFontaine. Well, I hope it went well, Comic-Con. Keith Kachuk, St. Louis. UD Canvas out of 33, Henrik Sedin. It's a very nice card. I like the red ink. Oh, he was a better Sabre than he was an Islander. Change my mind. You got all the concussed years. And then these little nuggets. Uh, Roy, you want me to toss the tins? Make sure. Bo. Out of 249. I should just assume his name is Jeep. It says Joel Person, but I think he signed Jeep. I'm completely confused by this, but um, congratulations. I don't know how this is here. I don't understand, but I'm not going to argue. Autographed RPA out of 10. Austin Matthews. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Mario.
Yeah, Roy, that's 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 a out, it's out of ten. I mean, I'm not <laughs> I'm not complaining. I just don't understand it. But congra congratulations, man. Uh, yeah, that's what, so that, yeah, I should probably clarify that for Doug. Uh, Doug, 16-17 was his actual rookie year. Uh, and yet, this is a 1920. Hey, I'm not going to argue with it. What it says, it says. Out of 75, Joel Farabee. One oh one Trevor Moore. Well, the cup had to wait all weekend to be opened. And Capo Caco. Uh, all right, somebody show me a verified sale for 20 grand, and I'll believe it. What's going on, Mill? That's, that's true, Roy. I would need to see a realized equity statement before I bought that as a 20k card don't get me wrong I know it's extremely good 20k seems a bit on the high end Bishop Kubalik 249 here's a good looking card out of 25 it's James Van Riemsdyk Out of 36, Boquist. Out of 33, Shesterkin, Fox, and Kako. And finally, out of 249, Noah Dobby. There you go, bud. I'd say that went well. Could be. I'm going to look it up in a moment.
There's only one place that I can go for a reliable answer. Give me one second. All right, it is a rookie tribute auto. That's what it is. Let's show you. So, rookie tribute auto 15 TAM. Austin Matthews numbered to 10. Uh, Doug, I am. Natural Mind Diamond. One not created in a lab. So there you go, Rookie Tribute. Alright, I have a gang of personal breaks. Um, let me... First take a look at that other one that I said I would. So, uh, Connor McDavid's tribute numbered 8 out of 10 uh, sold for a grand. Just over a grand. Should answer some questions. Yeah, that's what I figured. I knew that was too high. I've been doing this for long enough to be skeptical enough. Now, if it was like a an Eichel, where Eichel's cards were held for three years and then released, that's different. His true rookie uh, came out in the 1819 set, even though he was a 1516 card due to the autograph um, not being available and being a Leaf exclusive. Ooh, excuse me.
right, so I do have one for Derek. I have one from J for JRD from Friday as well. I also got Jesse and James. And Jimmy. What up, what up? How you doing, Sean? Alright, before I get those cracking, let me give you guys a peek at the list. GRD. Good to hear, Sean. I'm actually putting up the list because I'm about to wander and get one of my bottles of water. And I needed a stall. So, for those who follow my personal account on, uh, Instagram, you will see that the uh, the studio is 92% finished, only to find out that that laptop, as good as it is, just can't handle all the items. Well, that's Bolt. Love you, man. Thanks, Belinda. I didn't spare any expense. Even that laptop was a decent price, but it looks like I'm going to have to switch to a tower. Oh, you know what? Here's what I can tell you, Belinda. It's not very expensive. I got all of it on um, on Amazon. Um... What I would recommend is make sure your panels are two inch thick. The one inch just don't cut it. And it's not as much soundproofing as it is sound dampening. So keep that in mind. But it does a great job. Very little comes over the microphone. And I have a dog that has a bark so loud it could be heard a mile away. Uh, Poe Boy, how can you put Nick's game and relaxing uh, in the same sentence? He's <laughs> Nice. Michael's got the touch. Oh, I'm wearing too many clothes. Hold on. Uh, the great. I want to know how they're going to shore up all of this in two episodes. Because they've got a lot of things to, a lot of things to, to shore up storyline wise. And only two episodes to do it. Unless there's an unannounced spinoff we don't know of. Classic. Hey, man, uh, I can't take any credit. I will be the first one to deflect your praise. I appreciate it. But uh, Jersey John and Sean get all the praise for the packaging. They handle all of that. Good, Belinda. I like that then. What's up, James? Uh, I got you on deck, buddy. You're get, get ready. All right, John, here we go. Yeah, Allure is just a fun product, period. I really like it. IJRD, Hit Parade, Foosball, Autographed Jersey, hey Tony, College Football Edition, 
It's the four or five out of a hundred. Oh, Mario, exactly. Bon chance. The smiley face and all. That's Marcellius Bennett. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Marcellius Bennett played football. All right, now for some Bowman's best. It's monster time. This box has got some juice in it. I can feel it. Sounds good. Brent, I appreciate you, man. Kyle. Mitchell and Mies, Mize, Mize, Mizi, Mr. Detroit, Aaron Judge, Garrett Crochet, Yoshi, that <laughs> Jason. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> cup juice. Tell so, cup juice to me is sounds like school bus gravy. Now, if you don't know what school bus gravy is, then you uh, haven't lived in an area where it snows and you were forced to take the school bus. Lewis, done. Detmers and Jordan Alvarez, that is a refractor rookie. Nick Gonzalez. Two fifty Chapman cracked ice and Miggy. All right, here it comes. Nick Bitsko, 99. Soto. Robert Pawson. Howard. 
Jordan Alvarez. Also ending in EZ, Jason Dominguez. Double A. Brett Batty. And Scherzer. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go, man. Dig it. Yep. You're very welcome, man. I told you there was a little juice in that one. If you noticed, if you watched that, I saved that pack for last, even though it was the second to last pack, because I had a feeling there was a little bit of juice in there. Hey, Torn. Did the old switcheroo at the end. Comic-Con saw it. I just had a feeling. depends if it's a personal break you can always leave a note saying you want me to do it uh if you forget to put the note they're gonna send you an email asking uh what time you want yours broke you can always say save it for dc let's play guess the team Well, my mind says Jacksonville, but my hand says uh, Indianapolis. Derek has hit parade autograph football mini helmet, series one, 88 out of a hundo. You should have two. However, they only gave me one. Shame on them. Looks like uh, we'll have to do one another time. Well, I'll be darned. I have a really smart hand, don't I? is Darius Leonard. There you go.
All right, to be continued. Let me write a little nasty note here. Thanks, Derek. Uh, Darius Leonard, fantastic defensive player. Believe me, I should know. James, I can fit yours in before the 8 o'clock break. Maybe the Jacksonville. Maybe the Jacksonville I was feeling on the last break is a LaVisca Chenault uh, auto in this one. All right, James has limited foosball. Good luck. Auto Clyde Can't be mad at that. You could, it would be unwarranted though. Trey. Matty Ice, 149. Joshua Kelly, 199. Amari and Tyler. Brendan Jones, 199. Eckler and Paca. There you go, friend. At least the Clyde was nice. Yeah, sure. So, Oscar, um, if there's ever a time where your break doesn't make the cutoff, um, they're going to send you an email once they receive it back here asking uh, if you want a video or if you want to watch it live. Just respond that you want to save it for DC, and they'll save it for DC. You're welcome, bud. Hey, Dan. Good to see you.
politics of that time. You're welcome. Uh, group breaks should be posted immediately. Personal breaks are only posted by request now. Uh, Dan, yeah. And boy, are the Sabres not only bad on the ice, but they're bad in the negotiating room. Hold on, I'll tell you in a second if I have the ability. Uh, Derek, I'll try. Uh, after this break, just remind me I pulled your order. I will, uh, I'll make an effort to do so. Best I can do is try, though. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, ComC.com has started shipping again. Which means I have quite a few cards coming. I'm not so mad about the second rounder. I'm mad about giving up Lazar and getting Bjork. Uh, no, no, they are, uh, they handle the shipping for upper deck. When Upper Deck does EPAX, they uh, they ship for Upper Deck. Hall for a second, based on his production, I, I, I'm not mad at. I'm, I'm not mad at all. Um, I just, I really just didn't like Lazar for Bjork. Unless there's just something I don't know about Bjork. But hey, maybe I'll be presently pleasantly surprised. true Dan it's true and Bjork should be closer to uh league ready than anybody they'll be taking in this year's draft with the exception of whoever we get 
second or third overall. Yeah, Sean, I did see that. Uh, Derek, yeah, I said I'd give it a try right after this break. What do we got? Uh, 18 more days to the NFL draft. 17 more days. Anybody else excited? I, for one, cannot wait. I did see the Manta trade, yeah. Why is that, Jason? Yeah, Les, I agree. I don't like the way that went down. Dan, maybe they'll go for a quarterback. The Niners would not have moved up if they didn't have a plan. So rest assured with that, Jason. You have to figure. You have to figure, Jason, m not moving up any further than they did. They have to be ready to, they have to be comfortable with two out of the top three quarterbacks. Because you don't make that move unless you're sure you like two out of the top three. So that should give you a vote of confidence if they believe that they'll take two out of the top three. They probably like one over the other, but they know they're going to get one of the two, or one of the top three. So... That, that, that tells you something. Hey, Carol, how are you? Yeah, I know. Hey, listen, Josh Allen scared a lot of people in 2018. Look at him in 2020. That's all I can say. Uh, but what, what else I can say... 2020 21 Upper Deck Black Diamond Hockey 5 Box Case. David Adams Card World Live 31 Spot Random Team Break. Six. Here's, here's what I will say, because uh, for those who are uh, just joining, um, we were talking a little bit about the NFL draft. What I will say is the people who professionally evaluate draft picks and affix numbers to these guys and give projections and mock drafts, they know a lot, but at the same time, they know absolutely nothing. So you have to take everything with a grain of salt. There are no sure things and there are no surefire busts either. 11. So you got to take everything around the draft with a grain of salt. Don't forget, like 65% of the NFL draft is also uh, misinformation, purposefully over and under valuating quarterbacks and other positions. That is a huge part of the strategy is say you're high on one guy and keep the guy you're really going to draft in your hip pocket. 
Paul C. Edmonton, Sean M. Florida, Matt K. Pittsburgh, Mark L. Tampa, Casey, UF St. Louis, Todd R. Ottawa, Scott R. New Jersey, Casey's got Colorado, Mike T. Dallas, David A., the Islanders, Todd R., the LA Kings, Andrew S., Calgary, Boston, and Columbus, Matthew M., Anaheim, uh, Bogdan, you have San Jose, Todd R., the Rangers, Jason T., Detroit, Angelo M. Vegas, Justin U. Washington, uh, Bogdan, you have Toronto, Casey, Nashville, Matt K., Arizona, Grant L., Carolina, Matthew M., Philadelphia, Carol, you have Winnipeg, Ryan B., Montreal, Brian A., Chicago, Sean M., Minnesota, Enrique, you got Vancouver, Scott R., unfortunately, you got Buffalo. There you go, Carol. Uh, Charles, you are correct. They do. Uh, I, I say you take that marquee lineman. That's just me. If if I am the Bengals, I take I take Sewell. Or Sewell, however he pronounces it. Pre-ignored. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. They haven't gotten one of those right in a long time, Les. It's happened. I remember it was probably in the early 2000s. No, actually, I think it was around 2010. Maybe it was 12. One of those years, either 2010, 11, or 12. Like the first 10 went exactly as planned. I just, for some reason, I don't remember the year. Because, you know, those who know me, I have no memory. Um, but I recall one of them, like the top 11, were exactly what everyone thought it was going to be. No surprises. And then from like 12 to 32, it was Swap City. Oh, Dan, I was joking. That was a quarterback Philly joke. Good luck, everybody. This one's thick. Pecorini, 349. And we have our first bounty. Out of 49 for Toronto. Double Red Diamond, Robertson. What's up, Matt's Cards? So, Toronto Bogdan, you have a bounty coming. Pietrangelo. Krebs, three ninety nine. dollars 99 Soderstrom, $3.99. And Connor McEichel, $2.99. Ah, what's up, Matt R? Pulling a fast one on me. This one's not so thick. I'd almost expect a uh, redemption in here. It's so thin. Three forty-nine cancel for Nashville out of a hundred. It's the captain. There you go, Nash. 
Retired number out of 99, Pete Forsberg. It would look better if there was an autograph right there. I feel like there should have been. Connor. Vegas Golden Knight. Diamond Futures. Out of 99. Peyton Krebs. Oh, I agree. I agree. EP40. I'm going to say it every time I pull one. I love the look of that card. It's just cool. It's out of 149. The Dominator out of 349. Out of 10. For Columbus. Double green diamond. Foudy. What up, Tim? Jonathan Hubastank. Rookie gem for Toronto, 399. It's Robertson. Out of 99. This one's true. And South Buffalo Zone. Patty King. Two boxes to go. Three forty nine carry. Nice auto for Nick Suzuki and the Montreal Canadiens. Two forty nine. Hey, Bird. Nuge. Out of 50. Zabenijan. Out of 349, Geeky. Out of 199, McKinnon. Jackets with another Foudy, one ninety nine. Kaprizov, Minnesota. Yeah, you know, Carol, I have been giving you a lot less Panthers. Unfortunately, I don't seem to be pulling any hits. So I apologize. I need to get you I need to get you some some nice hits. 
Sorokin, 99. And out of 49, that's gorgeous. Johnny Taves. Yeah, it's it's a manufactured patch. That's not a real Kaprizov jersey. Hey, John. All right, uh, Bogdan, are you here? Uh, Phoenix, there was only nine spots left at 6 o'clock today, so it should be close to sold out. All right, looks like it's going to be the Wheel of Doom. Oh, man, that's not the one I wanted to cross out. That's the one I wanted to cross out. That one's still good. Listen, it's Monday. Uh, I know for a fact those are manufactured. It's just, it's the set. All right, Bongdon, here you go. You're going to get a $25 credit. Congratulations. Um, yeah, the, the manufacturer ones, they'll say, actually, I'll, I'll show it to you. It's a good, good learning moment. Um, so team, team logo jumbos, um, that specific name will always be a manufactured patch. Um, they will put, it's a different wording. If it's real, it'll say, um, game logos or authentic logos or something else that they put there that when I see it I'll remember what it is but the ones that say team jumbos those are manufactured um the the real ones have a different name they I can't remember what they're called but they're they're just named something different so that that that's how I know jumbo yeah that's what it is thanks burn burn's got it everybody high five to burn that's what it is It'll say Jumbo Relics, Logo Relics. Give it up for Burn. It's almost like he's done this before. Uh, Cesar, the soccer gear is going to be tomorrow, because I don't have any on hand, but it will get broke tomorrow. Well, Burn, maybe you're due. All right, Aaron. Yeah, uh, Anna, anything after 4 p.m. Eastern is next business day unless it happens to be on my list. All right, Derek, let me make an attempt to swap yours out, see if I am capable of doing it.
Uh, so once we get the item in the breaker's room, they'll send you an email so you can select what time you want yours to break. Derek, what jersey were you looking for? The autograph football jersey? Yeah, I, I don't blame you. That is, there's no reason for that jersey to be in that, that uh, box. Henry, it's, that is BS. I would, I would even get, I'd go so far as contacting Upper Deck and be like, are you serious? Uh, Derek, do you want it on the same card you used for the original transaction? Good, Jesse. I have a break with your name on it. Are you ready to ritual? Uh, Justin, it went well. The recording studio is 92% done. Oh, no problem, buddy. Well, I got it waiting for you whenever you're ready. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, as a matter of fact. All right, let me do a little research on that before I break yours, Derek. Yep. Uh, Black Widow is on there. That's Black Widow. series I wouldn't doubt if that one was sold out it's not but that one I would not doubt and uh that is the sig series link
All right, Derek, are you ready? Hit Parade football autograph jersey, 24 out of a hundo. 21 series one. Good luck. Well, there's only one famous Craig that I know. And it's that one. Uh, Jay Daddy, are you talking about foosball? Yep, I got three of them for your opening pleasure. It's honestly my opening pleasure, too, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, Justin, Mr. Easton, I, uh, I fired up the computer. Now, mind you, the laptop is a solid-state drive. I have 12 gigs of RAM, um, and I'm running up-to-date software. I recorded two small tests utilizing all the equipment, and uh, the laptop auto shut off because the core temperature overheated. So it looks like I have no choice but to now buy a tower. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I was assured as long as you had at least 8 gigs of RAM, it would process everything. Um, and it does. It handles it. It just doesn't... It handles it. It's capable of doing it. It just gives it too much of a run for its money. So, now I'm going to probably just sell the laptop and buy a new one. The problem is, um, towers are so loud, I would have to rig the tower to be outside of the sound booth because they're loud. Um, just means I have to run longer cables to everything. Yeah, Justin, I just can't afford to have both. Uh, if you're not aware, uh, I'm not very wealthy. Or I just might give it to Mel and sell some more cards. Yeah. Yeah, I just need... It's got to be quiet, because if it's going to be inside the room... I mean, I do... I could build a vented compartment for it. But then I'd be concerned it still might overheat. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I always come up with solutions. I 
I've managed to troubleshoot everything up until now. Um, I will show a picture real quick, because I know some people are not... I'm a PC person. Uh, Phoenix, listen, I won't do a GoFundMe because I'm not destitute. GoFundMe should be reserved to people who need it. Mine is a luxury. If, uh, if you want to donate to a GoFundMe, donate one to somebody that has medical bills and certified needs help. I, that's not me. Mine is a luxury, so I would never GoFundMe for a luxury. It's just not in my, my makeup. Oh, that's nice, Doug. I dig it. Wait, let me just make sure. Okay. So, there is the box, the scarlet, the cloud, the mic, and the cam. Which I didn't even I didn't even plug in the cam. You'll notice the uh, the purple soundproofing and the purple shag carpet. Uh, it's because I've decided to name the studio the Prince Rogers Nelson Studio. So as you can see, there's a bit of a theme with the Prince Rogers Nelson Studio. Uh, Anthony, Jimmy, or Connor, are either of you here? Phoenix got it. Uh, voice work, Derek. And I'll be doing a podcast soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't let de-elevator... So I run everything through Audacity. That's the program I'm using. Oh, I, I know, Phoenix. Um, I'm running it through Audacity. So other than my gain and my monitor, uh, which are both at 50. Uh, no, I think the monitor is at 70. Um, and I think the gain is actually at 45 now that I think about it. Uh, the levels are all adjusted through Audacity. I can't afford the $40 a month for uh, the Adobe one, so I'm just using freeware. <laughs> That's right, the Donnie. Oh, it's true, Captain Purple. Got it. All right, let me process some breaks. Let me uh, stop wasting y'all's time. Let me process some stuff. Well, it's, yeah, then that, that is the option, Phoenix, is to kind of go outside the box uh, with a external solid state, because the solid states, they, they are quiet. Yeah, that's, Doug, I can't, af I can't afford the monthly on that, man. Until I actually get paying gigs, which I don't have other than this one, I can't afford to pay a subscription fee. Take care, Derek. Oh, the echo is zero. Absolute zero. Um, I actually took um the the um those mini boom radios. Um I showed my wife the difference. On the top shelf. Yeah, absolutely, Doug. On the top shelf, I don't have any soundproofing yet. Um, because I ran out of foam. That's why I'm only 92%. I have another order for soundproofing coming in in by Friday. Um, that will give me almost 100% coverage. I don't need full coverage on the room, uh, but I need just a little bit more. So I, I showed her the, the Wonder Boom on the top shelf. And then I showed her the Wonder Boom in the isolation chamber, because I do have an ISO 
um, an, an ISO section of the booth that is top to bottom, side to side, all, th you know, f five of the six sides of the cube are isolated. Um, and then I put the speaker in there and she's like, I can't hear any of the high end. All I can hear is the bass. And then for that, I actually have a uh, bass absorber on the one side. So I know I'm good for no echo. I just want a little bit more foam for insulating outside sound. Um, I So I was thinking about a Patreon. I just don't know much about it. And I don't know if I would be producing enough content to actually satisfy somebody, I feel weird. This is what it boils down to, and I'm gonna be God honest with all of you right now. And, and again, I'm processing while I'm talking, so I don't want you to think I'm just wasting time. Um, I feel weird. It just, it it's uncomfortable to have people subscribe to me. It seems weird to me. I don't feel like I'm that important or have that much to say that somebody's going to be paying me $5 a month or a dollar a month, even a dollar a month. It just seems weird. And I feel like I would never be able to produce enough content to satisfy somebody who pays me on a monthly basis. To me, I just feel like I could never live up to that. Uh, King, if you see it on the screen, I can open it tonight. Jabs? Thanks, Jason. Hey, ha, Trevor. What's up, buddy? I love you, man. I hope you are well, friend. I do. So that is my... Because Melissa said the same thing. She said, you know, do a Patreon, do something. She goes, people will pay you. And I'm like, it just seems... It, I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. Uh. I will I will give it serious consideration. Well, thank you, Justin. Uh Doug, that would be great, man, honestly. I I think I know what I want to do. I just don't think I know how to do it, but I know I'm definitely a step in the right direction. That that sound studio is going to be great once I get the kinks out. There's Henry's. I was looking for yours, bud. Found it though. But uh, aside from the computer, all of the other equipment, the, the little audio tests I got to do, sounds phenomenal. Sounds phenomenal. Yeah, Jesse, I, I will, I will, I will, I will, yeah, I'll look at it. Uh, I've never zoomed before, <laughs> before, Doug, but sure. I got time during the day. I don't do anything until I come here. Well, I mean, besides watching my son, but he can play video games in the background. Um, it depends on what you're looking for. Oh, thanks, Trevor. Justin, it depends on what you're looking for. If if you are, let's say you're a diehard football fanatic and you love Dynasty football, you'll listen to 15 podcasts about Dynasty football, hoping that one nugget of information will get you the right steal early in your yearly draft or get you the upper hand on, on the trade thing. Absolutely. Um, Thursday at 2 o'clock, the dog has his last round of shots. But any time before then, I'm good. Even if I have to, like, just... I could do it during... Because I don't go in. The vet doesn't usually let people back there because of COVID. Uh, but even if it's just a phone call instead of a video chat... I mean, I don't know if you guys want to really look at me. I'm kind of ugly. 
Yeah, but it sounds good, man. I'll, I'll, I'd love to connect about it. Uh, Henry, as you can figure out, yours is the longest. Let's knock yours out. <laughs> well, hey, actually, um, yeah, 3 p.m. Eastern should be fine. I should be done by then. So with the new equipment that's arriving, let's talk about David Adams now. Um, with the new stuff that's arriving here, you're actually going to be seeing a lot more of this, this face for radio. Uh, we are getting an additional camera that is going to focus more on my reactions. Because apparently people have been emailing and sending notes and telling people how they just love how I react to cards. So now there is going to be a very close-up uh, screen of me in the corner. Uh, they're talking like shoulder up. Yeah, Jason, that's what I said. I was like, oh, I don't know. I like that. But they're like, no, listen, you are the, you are, you're it. So you got to do it. So unfortunately, you're going to be seeing my face a lot soon. Just means I got to get this mustache on point. I've been letting it slack. It's been getting a little gnarly. Um, I've also come to decide that Raleigh Fingers more than likely sold his soul to the devil in order to get that mustache. Because try as I may, it's just not working. Though I'm getting a really nice uh, western style tombstone mustache out of it. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Henry. If, if, Chris, if we were paid like this was a production, yeah, it would. But we are paid hourly because we are just hourly cogs in the machine. Henry's got Star Wars Sig Series times four. Good luck, man. Let's get somebody uh, noteworthy. Yeah, oh, I've got, I've got wax. Oh, nice. Out of 25. Director Krennic, played by the Ben Mendelsohn. Fantastic card right there. I'd say that was a very good start. Oh, he was so good in Ready Player One. Let's just say Ready Player One is such a fantastic film. Such a great film. I don't care about people not liking the plot. It is just carefree fun. Uh, Justin, you know what? They kind of mentioned something sort of similar to it today on WGR. Out of 99, Plo Koon. James Arnold Taylor is the voice. So far, two out of two numbered. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. WGR, uh, today I was listening at 5 o'clock from 5 to about 6 on my way in. Oh, there it is. Out of 99, Johnny Boyega. Um, they were mentioning that they're tight-lipped about his absence, as they called it, but he's getting slightly better, and it's a work in progress. They don't know if they'll have him back by the end of the season. Uh, but they wouldn't call it an injury now. They would just call it his um, 
situation. Or they used a very odd wording uh, when they talked about it today. And I thought about it. I said, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. And good old Wedge Antilles. Now, which wedge is this? This is the wedge without the mustache. Dennis Lawson. For those who are real Star Wars nerds like myself, uh, there's a bit of a Wedge Antilles scandal. <laughs> Multiple wedges, as they say. Uh, Vinsanity. That's actually the, uh, the argument that people are saying. Uh, listen, hey, in Buffalo, there's not much else to do. You can only go to the places so, so often. I, I wouldn't be surprised. The original wedge. There you go, John. I like all three of those names, Doug. Well, Joe, we knew that when we drafted him. If you, if for those who are Sabres fans, because I don't know if this went viral, uh, but when it was determined that the Sabres had the number two pick, he actually sent an Instagram, or maybe it was a tweet, but it was a video of him saying, Buffalo, I'm coming for you, and pounding a beer. Mind you, I think he was only 19 uh, when that video came out. Uh, John, I agree. I would not be mad at any of those. The Plo Kloon is the worst of the four, but even then being numbered, you can't you can't can't go can't go wrong. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. So, whatever it is, man, I mean, the season's a throwaway now. If if you need to get help, God, go get help. Like, um, this is me being real. If, if, if you have a problem, whether it be mental or substance abuse or legal substance abuse, even if, even if the season's not a throwaway, for the love of God, get help. I'm saying that honestly. I don't care if it's Josh Allen in the middle of the season next year. Get help. There is never a bad time to get help. And if that's his case, God bless him. I hope he gets better. Or the, that's that's the truth I can speak to you. All right, Jesse, are you ready? I agree, Justin. I agree. I agree, man. When I was an actor, even though it was small town in Ocala, um, there were certain liberties that I was able to take. And there was a certain quality of person that always wanted me around, even though I was just a simple stage actor and comedian. Uh, when you're in a small town, even these small actors and comedians can become... Uh, Buffalo is a perfect example. Buffalo... We don't have celebrities. We have sports we have sports athletes. Those are the only celebrities we have. So because we don't have the LA scene or the New York scene or even the Miami scene or the Dallas scene um, or, or, or the Vegas, we don't have a big venue. We just have Buffalo. So the local Buffalonians put these players on pedestals like they're celebrities. I know I've lived it. 
I've hung out with these guys. I've seen, I've been security for them. I understand how people interact with them. It, it is, it is different. And you have different things offered to you and you get yourselves in situations that you wouldn't normally get yourself into. And uh, I had those situations when I was just a small time actor in Florida. You go to a house party and then it's like, oh my God, this party is exactly what you see in movies that LA parties are like, except for there was no children. All right, Jesse. Hit Parade. Graded comic. 33 out of 100. The Flash. Bon chance. The Fastest Man Alive, number nine. It's a 9.6 from 07. Full speed ahead. Here you go. I'm going to be honest with you. The Flash is one character that I know very little about and have never really had the passion to follow. Um, I just couldn't relate to somebody being fast because I've always been slow as all get out. However, his graded comics sell out very quickly. So I am definitely the minority in that uh, mindset. I would say The Flash sells out faster than JLA, sells out faster than the Batman stuff. Flash, no pun intended, moves quickly. All right, maybe a little pun intended. Cup sold out? Excellent. I like the sound of that. just create a placeholder real quick and we'll get back to it continue all right here's what available uh it's pretty much immediate you order i break i am gonna start processing again so just let me know what you're grabbing and it'll speed up the process Thanks, Cosmo.
Oh, Valley, I already said that, yeah. Um, I'm not mad about the second round for Hall. What I'm mad about is Bjork for Lazar. But, A, hey, as a Sabres fan, that's just one more reason to hate the Bruins. I, I heard about... Um, I heard about... Well, it's funny, Valley. Uh, Valley, that's literally what I said. I said, I hope that we they know something about Bjork that we don't. And I also said Bjork is going to be league ready faster than anybody we can take in this upcoming draft with the exception of our first pick. So that is the bright side, in my opinion, of that trade. I did mention that a little bit earlier. So we are on the same page there. I just... I didn't feel like we got enough, and I really liked Lazar. I thought Lazar has a lot of talent. Am I saying he's a first liner? No, but he had something there. Exactly. Yep. Well, yeah, he had to waive his uh, claws, so it had to go to a team that he wanted to go to. And I think that's kind of also what happened. Um, we may have got a better offer elsewhere, but he had a no trade, no waive clause. So we would have to, it was actually what they called a no movement clause. Um, so he had to agree on it. And if that's the case, then he basically got to pick the team and we would have to take whatever we could get. Manta is going to be a fantastic hockey player. Hi, J Daddy. I'm excited. I love the product. I do. Um, and I get it's called Panini One, so you're only going to get one of them. But I would love to see them make an ultra premium product that has the quality of cards that you find in Panini One. Because let's be truthful, the Panini One cards, if you look at them, and it's tough to see it in the case, but if you look at them, they are very highly detailed. They're made with different paper textures. They are a very fine card to be had.
All right, Cosmo, you ready? Yep, I, uh, I, I processed it for you, Cesar. That way I can guarantee that they'll have it in their hands tomorrow and that uh, they can get it broke whenever you need. So I was just facilitating a quicker turnaround for you. Anytime something's ordered that I can't break, I'll still process it. That way I can hand deliver it into the, uh, the warehouse drop box. All right, Mike, hit parade autograph football jersey, 21 series one, 33 out of 100. Good luck, friend. Oh, if this is who I think this is, you made out really well. For the Indianapolis Colts, I'll give you a hint. He's a rookie running back, and he's a bit of a stud. It's Jonathan Tate. There you go. That is also an NFL Nike jersey, too. You are very welcome, bud. Fantastic bit of talent right there. Hey, the edge was a fantastic talent too, no denying that. Uh, give me a moment. I am going to, uh, you're just going to be staring at me for a minute. I'm going to create the 10 o'clock break, um, spreadsheet so that we can get that quickly facilitated when the time comes. I will keep an eye on the chat if you need to engage me with a question. Uh, but bear with me. It's going to take a minute. Andrew deserves a round of applause. Andrew basically almost single-handedly sold the rest of the breakout.
What is going on, Tony? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tony Meyer. Uh, Tony, I agree. Happy early birthday. And you should. You should enjoy a, a entire day full of breaks. I should have to come in early and just break stuff for you privately, not live, just because you can. That spreadsheet is done. Let me just double check it for accuracy. Measure twice, cut once. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Um, for those who are following the saga of me finishing up the um, finishing up the uh, sound studio, uh, the answer to the door problem uh, was cutting two inches off the bottom of the door. That ended up being the only logistical answer. CD Lamb fan? Uh, that is Roy. Roy is a huge CD Lamb fan. Oh, goodness, forgot to turn that off. I'm sorry. There we go. Boy, Tony, you're really making me earn my paycheck, aren't you? I absolutely will work on my birthday. Doesn't bother me. Just another another date for me.
absolutely. I prefer it. That way I can say on the air, hey, it's my birthday. And everyone's like, yay. Makes me feel good. You know, it's funny. I've had a really cool idea for a break. And every time I tell Tony about it, he says to stop talking about it. I didn't, Tony. I don't want somebody to steal the idea. It's a great idea. No, ancient coins actually would be cool. I I collect and and clean. Uh, that's that's one of my hobbies. That's one of my hobbies. I don't know if I can ever part with any of the ones that I cleaned. I don't even know if I could leave them out of my sight to have them graded. Do you know how many how many labored man hours go into cleaning those things? Oh, Trevor, me and you have a lot in common, man. I don't like I get so not to beat a dead horse, but again, I I don't have a lot of money at all. Um, so I usually will try to find like lots that are called or very low-end coins, ones that may or may not even have a face left on them. Whatever I can afford just to get them to the patina for the fun of them. Oh, I, I'm, I'm actually, I enjoy the process of cleaning them. It's a very long process. It involves soaking them in uh, olive oil for many, 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 many weeks. And then soap rinses, and a lot of elbow grease. But it is a very long labored process, and I love it. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. See, I don't know if I have any, I don't know if I have any photos on my phone. I do. I do have some photos on my phone, as a matter of fact. Uh, Tony, I said that too. So these were covered in filth, flarn, flarn and filth, uh, before I got to them. So I deterred them and then I classify them. Some of them actually turn out really well. That's my setup. Thanks. Yeah. They're not the best pieces, but some of them end up having some really great detail by the time I'm done. But hey, that's why it's called a hobby. Takes work.
there's got to be no exaggeration of actual scrubbing and laboring. Each coin has to have, if I were to average the, the couple dozen that I've done, each one's got to have at least 20 man hours. And by that, I mean like 20 hours of total scrub time. Soak time, they have weeks. Let me take a look to see if yours popped up. Ah, it would be nice if I was in the web invoices. Oh, man, I am glued to some of these digs and the things that they find. Um, the coins that you saw were actually part of the uh, one from three years ago, two years ago, when they found a cache in Turkey. Was it Turkey? I can't remember now. Hold on, I actually know where I can find my answer. Serbia. Yeah, these were part of the cash that was found in Serbia a few years ago. That's where those coins originated. Serbia. Um, goodness, let me see. King, I have the Panini Black. That jersey, I don't have. Uh, that jersey would be tomorrow. Jay Daddy, who is your premier account person? Scott, no, we sent, we random it. If we don't know if the team isn't announced, we'll just random it to everybody. Yeah, gee, Danny, I just don't have yours yet. Still waiting. Oh, there it is. There it is. Just needed to hit the old refresh button. There we go. There we go. Now you'll have a nice email popping up in your uh, address. Uh, yep. Justin, yours is first.
I think the cards are gorgeous. You know, we have enough people. If uh, if someone was interested, I do have a Tops Definitive hit break we could do. It would be eight people. Every spot is a guaranteed card. I don't know if I have any baseball fans in the chat, though. It would be two sixty four ninety five a spot. Each spot guaranteed at least one card. I say at least one because I've opened two boxes uh, that have had nine cards in it. We just random the extra one. All right, Justin. Twenty twenty Panini one foosball. Good luck, friend. Let's get something nasty. Let's get something so good you actually tell your wife that you got something. Let's make it so good you don't have to hide the order. Out of 149, Jalen Hurts. See, Michael knows. He laughed. <laughs> I'm guilty of the same thing. Zach, are you kidding me? Jalen Hurts out of 49. Out of 149, out of 49. chat you heard him the chat is ahead of his video so no spoilers on the last one please Nick Chubb. There we go. Four out of five. There you go.
two hurts and a chub. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about that. Hertz has some pretty good resale value. He does well on the market. All right, so I have a couple of options. We could quite possibly squeeze in uh, a a flash break. Um, we do have the definitive at two sixty four ninety five a spot guaranteed hit. I also uh, have select football. We could do divisions of that, or. We could do a division break of Bowman's Best. A two-box, six-spot division break of Bowman's Best for one thirty-one ninety-five a division. Anybody like Bowman's Best like I do? The select... Would be two forty two ninety five. Oh, I'm sorry. Select football. I should have been more specific. Uh, two boxes of best. Two boxes of Bowman's best. A division is one thirty one ninety five. Only. Uh, it's PayPal only. While you all think about that, I have this little nugget. Are you ready, Aaron? Aaron, are you ready for the basketball?
that is a no. Sure can. Ah, oh, there he is. Uh, let me see here. I do have I do have a case break division of black diamond that's about 440 a spot because there's only four divisions King, are you ready? Uh, yep, Mark, that the uh, black diamond is the hockey that I have. Yeah, any flash break at this point would be after the cup, but I do expect to do some uh, flash breaks because we'll have we'll have some time. Uh, the black diamond is actually a five box case. No, Marcus, there isn't. Uh, Casey, that's because it's a flash break. It's, uh, it's not on there.
The price per division for a case break is four thirty nine ninety five. So four people would be getting in for four thirty nine ninety five. Uh, the select football was one box division for two forty two ninety five. The Bowman's Best was a two-box break. All right, I believe Aaron is having some technical difficulties. Oh, Bolt, I'm almost through my first leader. Uh, all right, King, are we live? Did, did we fix it? Excellent. There it is. Good stuff, man. Hey, Jerry. All right, Aaron has some Panini Black basketball. Good luck, my friend. Let's give the jaw something nice. Ah, gee, Danny. That's right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, good luck, friend. I feel a redemption. I feel a redemption in here. Let that be a good sign. Or not. Maybe I'm wrong. Out of 149, KD. Get it? Super combo plate? J-Daddy? Tongue-in-cheek reference? 149. Grant Williams. And the rookie from New Orleans, but not the one you want. Nicolo Melli out of 99. I'm going to tell you, I had a bit of a heart palpitation when I saw the logo. I almost got really excited for you. Out of 25, Derek Rose. And finally, Pascal Siakam. Out of 49. There you go. Uh, Phoenix, I just give you a number and an email address and you send it via P PayPal.
You're welcome, man. Sorry it was the wrong pelican. I was hoping, hoping for the big home run for you. Absolutely, man. Uh, Jerry, there's a lot of options for flash break. Uh, I don't see why. Let me just look at this. I, I, I probably could pop this list on the screen. Give me a second to see if there's anything on here that I can't show you. Oh, well, this is wrong. Let me fix this. <laughs> all right uh forgive me actually don't forgive me i'm going to show you literally how this works here's what i got now um what is available is i have uh what you see so each of these are assigned, all of them are division, and all of them are prices per division that would go to uh, PayPal. So there's a little bit of everything. Now the prices are constantly changing. As you can see, they literally go up by the day. I have no control over that. Sean has no control over that. So we try to push these as fast as possible because this is the cheapest we're going to be able to have them for based on the increased prices. I mean, if you look at Select, Select has gone up three times in three days. I guess if I bend it, you could still read it. Uh, some of them are two box. Some of them are one box. The... Black Diamond is a five box case. So we've got options. It's just a matter of what you guys want to break. The Black Diamond, um, the division, so basically it's four divisions. So what you're paying for is 1.2 boxes since there's five boxes in four divisions it's it's the mathematical equivalent of you buying 1.2 boxes and uh with four divisions you're bound out of a case you're gonna get something it's just a matter of how much the basketball one i have to warn you it's panini encased it's six divisions i think it's only four cards and it's one sixty three ninety five a spot, so that one is going to be arguably the riskiest of the uh, the listed breaks. Uh, 
I would say the two that are going to probably pay out the biggest dividend, uh, the Bowman's best, in my opinion, is probably um, the best value I personally see on this list. Um, the only thing guaranteed is the definitive. And then the uh, Black Diamond Hockey. I would be stunned if you didn't get something out of there because you have a 25% chance at any given card. Select is only one box. Well, I got two people that would do Black Diamond for uh, $439.95. So if we had two more people, we can make that happen after the uh, cup break. Yeah, Casey. Division is what's the smallest division is Central. That's seven teams. The other three have eight teams. It's if if you buy a division break and you get skunked, and by that I mean no autos, no patches. I have a DC special for you. It just won't happen. That's how confident I am. Uh, Slappy. It's, it's not really long at all. All right, Justin. I got yours. Hey, Thomas. Hello, Slappy. Well, there's three people that would be interested. We just need one more, and we could make that case break happen. Uh, four thirty nine ninety five for a division. Correct. So let's do a tally. Uh, if we did it after the cup break. Who would be in? Four people, four divisions, four thirty nine ninety five for one five box case, black diamond. Say in if you're in. Brett's in. Uh, Mark, I'll give that out when the time comes. 
Mike's in. Mark's in. I don't know how I can do the logistics of you splitting a spot. Tom, was that you wanting in on the uh, division break? So it looks like we're going to do it. It's, it's filled. It's going to be the first three. Okay. Uh, well, then Burn and Casey... One person is going to have to pay. One person is going to have to receive everything. Uh, we are not going to accept any liability of you two disagreeing. So yeah, that's between you. But I've got to get both of you to say okay on the, uh, on the record because we record the chat. Oh, you are good buddies? I didn't know that. Casey, is Burn your good buddy? Casey's like, I don't know this guy. <laughs> I have no idea who this guy is. He just DM'd me the other day. All right, that sounds good. All right, so here's what we'll do. Um... I will give you all the info. All right, so, um, Brett Michael. Mark and Burn. Uh, it's four thirty nine ninety five. Send the payment to box breaks at dacardworld.com via PayPal, and we will knock the case out right after uh, we do the six box case of the cup, which is coming up right after this break. Uh, all right, Justin, are you ready? All right, Justin's got some plates and patches, foosball, and we'll follow it up with the plates and patches special playbook. All right, excellent. Then we've got some fun. We've got some fun ahead of us. Oh, this pack feels good. I like it. <laughs> 
It's filled to the brim. I like it. Chase Claypool, 99. Keyshawn Vaughn, 50 out of 50. All right, thanks, Brett. I'll take a look. How about Tua Tungavailoa out of 99? I heard of him. Um, no, the number is in the chat, 439.95. Jarrett Stidham. Printing plate 101. And Danny Marino out of 60. playbook at a two ninety nine Cooper Cup. Chase Young out of one ninety nine. Jersey Auto, LaVisca Chanel Jr. And out of 99, rookie signature locker, Darrington Evans. go. I like the LaVisca. And those lockers are gorgeous. I do. I think they're great too. I'm just a sucker for football to be honest with you. Absolutely, Slappy. Kaner had six shots on goal. Nice. <laughs> Telling you, man, the resale market for Hertz is not bad at all. And I have a feeling it's going to get a lot better this upcoming season. There's a lot of talent on Philly. 
It really is. Take care, man. Thank you. Now, let me ask you this, Phoenix. How many goals does Kaner have? I sure do, Jimmy. I can have yours up right after this break. 2019-2020 Upper Deck the Cup Hockey, six box case, David Adams Card World Live, 31 spot random team break. All right, who is ready to hashtag disrespect the cup? Eight. Six. Robert C. Edmonton, Diane, New Jersey, Scott K. Toronto. Jonathan R. Columbus, Mark A. Winnipeg, Robert C. Minnesota, Kevin P. Florida, Michael C. O. St. Louis, Mark A. Nashville, Michael C. A. Washington, Mark A. The Rangers, Andrew S. Montreal, Jacques D. Colorado, Robert C. The Kings, Andrew S. Buffalo, Paul M. Pittsburgh, Eric S. Vancouver, David A. Boston, Andrew S. Chicago and Anaheim, Scott K. Dallas, Andrew S. Arizona, Carolina, Michael C. O. Tampa Bay, Paul M. Vegas, Michael C. A. Philadelphia, Mark A. The Islanders in Detroit, Edward G. Ottawa, Diane, you have San Jose and Calgary goes to Kevin P. Thanks, Marcus. All right, Burn. Sounds like a plan, man. Make sure I got enough one touches. Yeah, I might need more, but let's start there. All right, here it is. Sealed with a kiss. Hopefully, whoever sealed this with a kiss was wearing uh, Batman's official fake lips from that time he kissed Poison Ivy. Because I wouldn't want my mouth on that. The cup, not Poison Ivy. All right, let's get started. Good luck, everybody. And for my Canadian friends, and I guess possibly even my, my French friends, bon chance.
Yep, burn it is. Two forty nine Bennington. Two forty nine Hag. Out of fifty for Colorado. How about the goalie, Philip Grubauer? Out of 33, Kirby Doc, color coded. It's a nice low number Doc. Out of 10, Sagan, Pawalski, and Ben. That is a card any Dallas fan would love. Oh, this is nice. Carl Grundstrom, 101 auto print and plate. There you go, LA. That is a 101 auto. That is a bounty. L.A., who are you? Robert C. Robert C., you have a bounty friend. Tom, I agree. This one looks nice. Troy Terry. Good looking patch out of 249 for the Ducks. Out of 99, look at this one. Mr. Suzuki. Excellent, Robert. At the end, you will get your bounty. Out of 25. It's a nice one right there. Winnipeg. go mark ah uh, this is good looking i believe it's manufactured but it's impressive nonetheless emil bemstrom 75 it's great eye appeal Rasmus Sandin, 249, Toronto. Thought we had a Rattler for a brief moment. Must be the smell getting to me. Well, that's filled to the rim. Anders Lee. 249. 249, Nicholas Hag. Oh, that's why it's so thick. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle.
Rookie Logo Auto Booklet for Mario Ferraro. Well, hello there. Two out of three. Two out of three headed to San Jose. No, really, it's two out of three. Thought for sure it'd be a one of one. Tell me that's not gorgeous. There you go. Connor with another one for Winnipeg. Ten out of ten, Abramoff, Balsir, and Brenstrom. That's Ottawa. Chicago, 101 printing plate auto, Adam Boquist. All right, <clears throat> we're halfway there. Two forty nine Matthews. Two forty nine for LA. It's Wa Roy. Hey, Colorado, guess what you got? I'll give you a hint. It's kind of like a salad, but spelled wrong. There you go, Jacques. See, I told you. I told you guys, Jacques pulls a lot of the heat. And a card for the Islanders. Too bad we have no Islanders fans here. Otto Koivula, 249. Out of 50, limited logos. Bobrovsky, Florida. One of one for San Jose, because you missed it on the last one. That one was two out of three. This one's one of one. It's uh, Lean Bergman. 
Chubby Bergman's brother. Hey, laugh all you want. Chubby is a heck of a professional eater. Another fatty. Bjornfoot, I think we have another booklet here. 249 Bluger. Out of 24, Vile. That's nice. That's really nice. Here you go, Winnipeg. Buffalo, finally get to call your name. Sam Reinhardt. Oliver Bjorkstrand. That is the printing plate set from Series 1, Upper Deck Hockey. Uh, he would be the Columbus Blue Jackets, I believe. Columbus. It is Columbus. Okay, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Out of 99, talking about their sick patches. It's Dominic Kubalik. All right, this is it. Last box. Here's a good looking patch. San Jose. Out of ninety nine, Ryan Pulling. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Maybe they have the same team. <sighs> Guy 
guys, I am really sorry about this one. This is going to come down to a coin toss. This is going to come down to a coin toss. And it makes me sick to my stomach that this comes down to a coin toss. But unfortunately, that's what's going to have to happen. It is. It's a dual auto. And they're on different teams. And they are not owned by the same person. So, unfortunately, this is... This is going to be a coin toss. It's 5 out of 10. I don't like the way this is sitting. Hold on. I'm going to put a sticker on here because I don't like the way this is closing. And I just want to make sure it is secure. Numbered 5 out of 10. Super Mario and the Great One. Robert, you have Edmonton. Paul, you have Pittsburgh. So this is going to have to go to a coin toss. Out of 75, Barrett Hayton. <laughs> You're nervous. <laughs> I, I have to ruin somebody's day. Believe me, I'm, I don't like this. Trust me, I don't. I do not get any joy whatsoever in having to do what I'm about to do. I really, truly do not. I really, truly do not. But I have to do it. All right. Uh, Gretzky is heads. Lemieux is tails. Um, that has been the, the rule since the beginning of my breaks for the last year. Uh, if a card is north-south, like this one is, top is heads, bottom is tails. If it is east-west, left is heads, right is tails. So, heads or tails? Heads, Gretzky, tails, Lemieux. Oh, I am... I am literally sick to my stomach right now. I have a pit in my stomach. I want you guys to know I have no joy in doing this. I have joy in pulling the card, but I do not have any joy in what I have to do.
All right, good luck, gentlemen. Heads, Gretzky. Tails, Lemieux. Goes to Lemieux. Tough break, man. Uh, but I think you did get the bounty, though, right? So, for that bounty... You get to choose green, blue, silver, gold, or black. Gold. De Los Santos, out of 99, rookie. Miles Straw, out of 99, rookie. And James Paxton, Paxton out of 99, rookie. There you go. Uh, Doug, yeah. Yeah, you did. I'll just show it to him. There's no point in making him wait. Yeah, Doug, unfortunately, went down to a coin toss. All right, uh, Jimmy's break is up right now, and then we will jump into the uh, the flash break. Oh, uh, Doug, I you know what? It's funny. Um, if you watch the actual video, Doug. I uh, I should have been thrilled to pull that card. As soon as I saw it, my heart sank because I knew what was going to happen. There was no celebration in me pulling that card, Doug. I it it hurt too much knowing that I I would be. It, it sucks. It sucks to have to do that, man. So yeah, man, it 
I, I did not... Now that I think of it, I should have celebrated the card. I was more concerned about the person's feelings. I, Jimmy, Hit Parade graded comic, 9.8 edition. 10 out of 100 is going to get us started. Good luck, friend. Old Man Hawkeye, number two. That's from 2018. Bang Slappy. Nine out of a hundred. Wolverine number 69 from 93, Rogue Jubilee, Brainchild, Barbarous, Amphibious, Equilibrious, and Godza Appearance. Sauron cameo on the last page. And technically on the cover. Uh, Bartman, I believe so. I just have to check the payments. Eight out of a hundred. Uh, Jimmy's is from this weekend. That's why his is going to be before the flash break. Wonder Woman 223 from 06. Wolverine number 60 from 92. Sabretooth, Gambit, Jubilee, Yukio, and Sunfire Cameo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, definitely, definitely Sabretooth. Alright, friend, not number one. Sorry, bud. I am physically upset about that card I am physically oh, not well after that Oh, Dave, you missed a big one. You missed a big one, brother. I'll show it one last time, just because it's worth it. And because, Dave, quite frankly, it's you. Yeah, right, Dave?
I'll <laughs> leave it on my desk. Uh, so you can photograph it, right? <laughs> Just for photograph purposes. All right, let me get... All right, let me set up this. Uh... Yeah, Dave, what makes me sick about it, though, bud, is two different teams, two different people. I had to I had to toss a coin. So I uh, I had to ruin somebody's day. Man. Well, you know, listen, I shouldn't take it so hard. I didn't have to ruin somebody's day. I just had to deliver the news that would ruin somebody's day. I personally am not responsible for the bad day. Uh, Jerry, I agree. It's true. All right, all the payments are in. I'm creating the spreadsheet right now. So just bear with me another, I don't know, 45 seconds. This is going to be the case of Black Diamond Hockey. Um, I will probably do. It's a little slow today. I have about three or four people's personal breaks to go. Uh, but there is a good chance another flash break is going to happen tonight. Design works. All right, I just needed a name. Sorry, Mark. Just needed a name. to put on this list. All right, now we're good. All right, let's get saucy. Yeah, 
that's true, Bartman. Actually, if you want my real answer about half full, half uh, half empty, uh, it depends. Did somebody drink from it or did somebody pour into it? If you just drank from it, it's half empty. If you just poured into it, it's half full. some of that magic sauce on there. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> you are welcome. That is, that's how I'll, ever since I was like six years old and somebody explained that to me, I was like, well, it, they're like, is it half empty or half full? I was like, well, it depends. Did somebody just drink from it or did they just fill it? That's how I see it. If it's spilled, it's half empty. Um, I haven't hit any of the big helmets left, Sniper. But I only break a very, 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 very small fraction on screen. Most of those are opened at home, to be completely honest. All right, let's do this. Let's get excited for a flash break. Twenty nineteen twenty twenty upper deck black diamond hockey five box case flash division break. Of course, it's twelve. Why wouldn't it be? I, actually, uh, that's not correct. It's technically 2021. I have the wrong thing listed. But it is 2021 Black Diamond. Just like on the sheet. I just wrote the wrong number. I'm so used to the other way around. There we go. Now that's correct. Six. Mark, you have Central. That's the Avalanche, Predators, Stars, Blues, Jets, Black Hawks, and Wild. Mike B, you have Metro. Capitals, Hurricanes, Penguins, Blue Jackets, Rangers, Flyers, Islanders, and Devils. Adam, you got Atlantic, that's the world champion Tampa Bay Lightning, Bruins, Maple Leafs, Panthers, Canadians, Sabres, Red Wings, and Senators. And Brett, you got Pacific. Sharks, Flames, Golden Knights, Coyotes, Oilers, Canucks, Ducks, and Kings. Uh, Andy, yeah, tonight I will. All right, five boxes. Good luck, U4, U5, however you want to slice it. DC may or may not have broke something with that throw, but don't worry. It's none of your guy's stuff. I hope. Let go.
Joe Thornton. Ah, uh, that's going to go to the Sharks. Oh, right off the bat, Atlantic, Adam B. Here's a nice little banger for you. Out of 25. Why, that would be Dylan Cousins. Team Logo Jumbo. It's manufactured, but man, that's the one you want. Gabe Velarde. Cousins goes for a very good amount of money, too. Out of 50, Montreal. Let's carry. Sonderstrom, 349. Letinov, San Jose. Uh, Andy, send me the invoice number, because if you bought it four days ago, it should have already been back here. Dry sidle 349. Edmonton. That's Benson out of 199. Kaprizov. That goes out to Minnesota. Central. Philly. Giroux, Gagne, and Leclerc. Out of 349. Alexis Lafreniere. And out of 25, how about Connor McMichael? Exquisite rookie. Also Metro. That went Metro, Metro, Metro. Mark Stone, 349. For the Coyotes, Double Diamond Sodstrom. Nate McKinnon for Central. Out of 349, Josh Norris, Atwa. For the Islanders, Kiefer Bellows. Out 
of 49 exquisite material. Winnipeg. That will be central. Two boxes to go. Brennan Gallagher. For Pacific, Mikey Anderson out of 99. Diamond Future. David Pastrami. It's Atlantic. 349 Peyton Krebs. Central out of 25. 25 out of 25 to be exact. Jake Ettinger. Out of 149, Timmy Lilligren for Toronto. All right, last box. Let's let this one be the banger. Oh, it is stacked. That's one that Blue would love. Three forty nine O'Reilly out of ninety nine Jewel of the Draft Sorokin for the Stinky Islanders. They're not stinky, I just like pushing Phoenix's buttons. Jason Robertson for Dallas. That would be Central. Pacific. 399 True. And Pacific. 349 True. And Pacific. 299 Bellardi. All right, there you go. I was trying to keep mental note. It looks like it spread pretty decently over the four divisions, as I had hoped. Uh, Mike, it's dacardworld.com. Thanks, Marcus.
I agree. And actually, uh, Central, the Ettinger, 25 out of 25, Dallas. Hang on to that. He's a pretty hot prospect. Oh, I guess he call him more than a prospect at this point. Take care, Casey. Yeah, the Cousins probably the most expensive card out of that break. His stuff flies. He was a steal for Buffalo that late in the draft. All right, I am uh, processing everyone's personals. Once we get through the list of personals, I will go through and we'll take a look at doing another uh, flash break. I do. I have, I think, six of them. Sorokin does sell very well. Uh, Andy, Andy, could you send me the invoice number that you got, please? That way I can kind of figure out what happened. Uh, anybody else who has an order in, not named Marcus, if you can send me your invoice number as well, that'll help out. Your invoice number can be found by logging into the site and um, checking your orders. Brett, you wanted your laser um, World Cup broke live, correct? Oh, there's my answer. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. I'll take a look right now. Give me a second to process Brett. Oh, no, we're going to knock him out all right now, Brett. Thanks, Mitch. Uh, we're going to do all that. Then we're going to feel out the possibility of another flash. Maybe, maybe not. All depends on level of interest. Mondo! What's up, man? Armando Jones. All right, so Andy, I have five boxes on hand. I just don't have a five box case. If you want me to just break five boxes, I can do that immediately. If you want a sealed case, I could get that in tomorrow. It is 100% your call. Uh, I'm good, Mondo. I'm good. I can't complain. Yeah, Jerry, it's probably a good chance if it's baseball he's in. <laughs> Thanks, Oreo. All 
All right, Giannetti. I will tell you, though, uh, if we keep getting the personals, we just won't have time for a flash. What's up, Fitz? Um, I believe I have, I only have one box of Black Diamond available. Uh, Mitch, open them? Okay, Andy, I'll do it. Uh, Mitch, unfortunately, we are completely sold out of the autographed jerseys. They sold out online which means the one I have on hand goes to an online order, uh, you will not be charged. But someone beat you to the last one. Sorry, bud. Give me a second. I got to catch up with the uh, with the chat. All right. Uh, yeah, Tommy, everything's good. Can't complain. Uh, I do. Immaculate soccer. I'll have time. Headed to Nolens. Nice. Uh, hold on, Mike. I'll take a look. Just let me finish knocking out these two orders. Mm, excuse me. Cafe du Monde, gotta get the beignets. I like the chocolate drizzled beignets myself. There is a shawarma place. For the love of me, I cannot remember where it is. It's not in the French Quarter. There's a there's a shawarma place. It is literally a tiny sign, no bigger than this on the side of a nondescript, non-advertised building that just says shawarma. It is a tiny little place. You, Maybe three people can fit inside of it if you're eating. Some of the best shawarma I ever had, not in the Middle East. I, I know I said that grammatically incorrect, but it was the best shawarma I ever had outside of the Middle East. That's what I wanted to say. Hand grenades? I did have a hand grenade. I had a hand grenade and a shark attack. Thanks, Ferg. I went to uh, I went to New Orleans for the Mardi Gras when the Saints won the Super Bowl. I don't remember much of it. But I was told I had a really good time. Oh, the best I had was from a vendor. It was in, was it Jordan 2? It might have been El Achaba. It was either, it was one of three places. It was one of three places. It was either El Achaba, Jordan, Bahrain, or Dubai. It was one of those three. 
Oh, you were in El Aqaba. Yeah, I believe it was one of those three. Oh, it might have been Jabal. No, it wasn't Jabal Ali. Yeah, it was, it was, oh man, it was, I want to say it was either Dubai or Aqaba. I want to narrow it down to one of those two. Oh, they have really good snorking too, though, Bart. So don't uh, don't poo-poo on their snorking. It's pretty solid, but only outside of Ramadan. problem Fitz thank you and Fitz if you buy into the uh the adage the longer it marinates on the shelf the better that immaculate's been sitting there for a long time it has been marinating on that shelf for arguably some of the longer it's definitely the oldest soccer that I have because it was here in the back originally and not put on the list, and then it was put back on the list, and nobody bought it, and then it was off the list, then it's back on. Petra's awesome. I didn't realize that people lived in those caves still. That was, I think, my biggest shock, is that those caves are occupied by humans. No, that's okay, Oreo. Uh, it means uh, if you hit something that is uh, on this list, you get a little extra special prize. I don't fill the prizes. There's somebody else. Um, Sean, our director, does, so they're a surprise to me, too. All right, with the sheer number of breaks I have, the chance of a flash break is dwindling quite quickly. So if you guys were hanging around for another opportunity to flash break, it doesn't look like it's going to be happening anytime soon now. So thank you uh, for loading me up with personals, but it is at the cost of a flash. All right, let me start with what I have. There are more still to process, but let's just begin at the beginning. Um, I know exactly who's going first. Let me pull your order. Andy, Andy, you're definitely up first. Yours is three days old. By the way, vive le Québécois. Uh, Armando, great question. So now I have a bunch of boxes that I can uh, do division breaks that are not on the list, that are not on the screen. They're just ones that I can randomly whip out and get you guys to buy. When things are slow, I tend to whip them out. You know, I probably shouldn't phrase it like that. 
now that I say it out loud. All right, so it's going to go Andy, then Brett, then Marcus, then Michael K, then Steve, then Zach, then Justin. That is what I have so far. We do have more to go. Yeah, Jay Daddy. Great movie. Excuse me while I whip this out. Two and five. Uh, so that would have been two. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Did not see it was specific until just now. Charles, hey, listen, man, glad you could be pleasantly surprised. Gee, Daddy, not that I know of. He was here earlier. Just close that real quick. All right, Andy, are you ready? Charles, do you have a break in? Oh, the Quan has been distributed. Andy, you may not know this, but a blessing from Armando Jones with the Quan is huge luck here.
Okay, just want to make sure. All right, this one is for Andy. We've got five boxes of Black Diamond Hockey. Just finished up a flash case break. Andy is on board for this one. Armando has bestowed the Quan upon him, so this should be exciting. Bon chance. No problem, Charles. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Anze Kopitar. Well, you're starting off really well. What is that, a 100? I definitely, definitely need more one touches. A couple of those. A couple of those. Probably three of those. Out of 25, I don't know how you feel about him. But from the Montreal Canadiens, Nick Suzuki. Alex P. For the Nash, Pecorini, out of 50. Henrik Zetterberg. Winter Classic Moments. Out of 299, Captain Jack Eichel. Box of Doof. Three forty nine, Connor McDavid. Out of ninety nine, manufactured patch auto, Bowen Byram. David Perron. Jerome Iginla. That one's out of only 25. Out of 399, Peyton Krebs. Out of 49. Patrice Bergeron. Out of three forty nine, it's Ovi. Nice, Ilya Sorokin. All-star logo on Zaykopitar. Nice, Doug. Congrats. 
Tyler Benson, Jewel of the Draft, out of 99. Diamond Cutter, Grant Fuhrer. Jason Robertson, exquisite rookie, out of 99. <laughs> Two boxes to go. Connor, 349. Out of only 10, out of 10, that's Josh Norris. I believe that is a purple diamond. I believe that is, it looks purple to me. Gabe Velarde. True. Soderstrom, three ninety nine. Out of one forty nine, David Krejci. All right, last box. If I had to make an estimate, that is a case hit. So you definitely got a case hit out of that group. Three forty nine Marner. One forty nine. There's a good one, Jason Robertson. How about Team Canada, Jumbo, Alexis Lafreniere? Out of 399, Dylan Cousins. And if you liked that Lafreniere, you'll love this one. Alexis Lafreniere, Diamond Cutter. And hey, listen, why not? Out of 299. Alexis Lafreniere. Three Alexis. Out of four cards. There you go, bud. Congrats.
Uh, yeah, Phoenix, 50%, it's, it's a one-year deal, so it ends at the end of the year anyway. So it's not a ton of money. You're welcome, my friend. Brett, are you ready? Exactly, Panda. I was more upset about uh, losing Lazar uh, and getting uh, Bjork. Brett, he's got <clears throat> Hit Parade Soccer, 18 Prism World Cup Laser Edition Series 1. He said, I want the second and the fifth box on the pile. Well, you picked your poison. Let's see how it turns out. Didn't work out very well. Didn't realize my own strength. Good old Hulk hands over here. Costa. Stojkovic. Debron, there you go. There's a good one. Obi Miguel. Said and Torres. Thankfully, we keep those bags on hand in case of moments like that. with Marcus Rashford. Leon. Egazi. And Gomez. There you go.
Um, yes, it'll be after my lunch, but I'll be able to do them. Uh, FYI. I'm supposed to go on lunch now. Uh, but I am going to wait till at least the next one. Actually, supposed to go to lunch five minutes ago. But no, it'll definitely get done. It'll just be after lunch. Uh, I'm going to do Marcus's. And then I'm going to go to lunch. Because I can justify ten minutes late. Not the other way around. Hey, Blue! What's up, man? Uh, Blue will tell on me and I will get a warning. Alright, Marcus. Hit Parade Graded Comic Sig Series. 91 out of 100. I don't actually eat lunch. It's just a New York State mandated 30 minute break that I have to take. Oh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. This is really awesome. This is a 9.4 from 1989, Batman 442. It's the first appearance of Timothy Drake as Robin. Nightwing and Two-Face appearance with a Joker cameo. This gorgeous piece of literature is signed not only by Mike DiCarlo, but the mastermind himself, Marv Wolfman. If you don't know Marv Wolfman, you're not trying hard enough. Thanks, Blue. I appreciate the clarification. Yeah, I know. Marv Wolfman is the creator of so many fantastic stories. I'm not a fan of DC Comics per se, but I appreciate Marv Wolfman and what he did for DC. Absolutely fantastic things. Fantastic things. You're welcome, Marcus. That is a biggie. And that is the last break before my lunch. So uh, we are ending on a high note. When I get back, uh, we are going to start with Michael K. And then uh, Steven. Followed by Zach. And then Justin. And then I'll process more and we'll do more. Oh, Mario, you know that. Uh, it's only a 30-minute break. As a matter of fact, I will be back at 10 after midnight. Let me just make it happen. If you want, I can do that.
All right, I shall return at 10 after midnight Eastern to finish off the breaks. <laughs> Slappy, I get it, bud. I get it, trust me. Not a fan of working nights, but I do what I got to do to pay most of the bills. All right, if anybody has any questions, please put it in the chat. I will not be in the room, and I will be back in 30.
What's up, Reed? Hey, Will. <clears throat> So, Marcus, we are not actually putting videos up anymore. I can give you yours, uh, but moving forward, we're not actually... We're recording them and just handing out the links as requested. What up, Blue? <clears throat> uh, Michael, are you here? So, Dave, the reason behind that is, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, they're, they're, going to be monetizing the uh the the site um they're going to be they're going to be monetizing so in order to put more focus on videos uh that they can make money off of um they are reducing the number of videos that go up What up, planting? How you been? Uh, Michael K, are you ready? Uh, I gotta do something, Blue. It's not gonna go to us, bud. Uh, Lemon, I believe so. All right, Steve. Steven, are you ready? Uh, no, all of the group breaks are still going to be posted. It's just the personal breaks uh, that will not be. Oreo, you're Steve? All right, excellent. Alright, Steve's got some Hit Parade 21 Pop Vinyl Batman Edition Series 3. 41 out of 50. It's Batman! The Complete Series Deluxe Limited Edition Exclusive. He's shiny! Got that super gloss going. There you go.
I dig it, man. I dig it. You're very welcome. Zach, are you ready? <clears throat> Justin, are you ready? Justin, on a little bit of a repeat, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Plates and patches and playbook. Let's do them in the other direction. Joshua Kelly, 75. DeAndre Swift, 99. DJ Moore, 25. And rookie signature locker out of 99, Denzel Mims. Mims the word. Listen to me very carefully when I say this man's value is going to go up quite a bit with a new quarterback. Trust the process. Blades of Patches. Sixty five Cook. Of uh, twenty five, Lynn Bowden Jr. I'm not even going to tell you what that is. One of one, Debo Youth Movement. Randy Moss out of 60. All right, bud. Hopefully you're sitting down. Double coverage, autograph, green variant, the Justin Jefferson.
No, you, you guys got to remember, Mims, if I'm not mistaken, is a second round pick. It's either first or second, right? Players don't go high that high. Wide receivers don't go that high. Uh, unless they're good. So even if you consider the Jets of having poor coaching, they're not going to go that early on a wide receiver if at least he doesn't have something. So you get him a brand new quarterback, he's going to be a pretty prime candidate to pick up receptions. I don't knock Nims. I actually think Pirine is better than uh, everyone leads him on to be. Uh, Brett, you want yours opened live, correct? All right. Who wants to see some immaculate soccer get opened? I, I know Fitz does. I know Fitz does. Hey, Blue, are you still here? All right, let's do this dang thing. Fitz. 
Fitz has got some hit parade. Pop vinyl 21 add icon series one. Two out of 50. Rockstar McNugget. My goodness. It was my nickname in high school. Thirty three out of fifty. It's Fruit Pie the Magician. That's a limited edition magician. Why is a fruit pie a magician? Fifteen out of fifty. Dang it, Bobby, you can't have a fruit pie. Mimic the monkey. And 12 out of 50. No, the old ones were glazed with a thick layer of, uh, a thick layer of frosting. the cuckoo Fitz, we're not done with you yet. <clears throat> 2020 Panini Immaculate Soccer. Uh, do you need the tin or are we tossing it? not going to like this because it's not uh, particularly thick, but good things come in small packages. Out 
I like it. Out of 99, a soccer player with the last name Immobile. <laughs> Read. Oh, this is a good one. This one is not autoed, but he is very good. And so is the next one. Declan Rice. It's also a good one. Memphis out of seventy five. Out of 99, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to be running out of stuff. William. <laughs> uh, listen, <clears throat> if you have headphones in, if you have headphones in, you might want to take them out. If your speakers are up, you may want to turn them down a little bit. And if the kids are sleeping, you may want to mute me all together. Out of 50. Ronaldo! There you go, man. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Oreo. Yeah, that is, that's match worn, bud. That's match worn. He done sweated all over it. I guess like this whole box is just great. It's got one of those boxes, man. Got one of those boxes. Out of 50 rookie auto, Donnie Vandebeek. Well, there were two of them. There's, he got one. There's one left. Out of 25, Paolo Maldini. He's a big deal. I just don't know if I have any more 130s. 
Oh, there's one hiding in the back. Here is one hiding in the back. I think that went well. now Greenwood is huge Pulisic Debrun is good I think Havertz cooled off I don't know how he's doing in Chelsea Mbappe's gigantic. I don't know why that wasn't the first thing that came to mind. Mbappe's huge. pleasing. Yeah, that uh <clears throat> that rice. Nothing to sneeze at, by the way. Uh daddy you did. Extremely difficult to beat that last box. It's a good thing there's going to be a break in between. Uh, I believe there are Jokers in there, or Joker disguised as Batman. Um, but don't quote me on that, because I know I pulled one of them. Brett, are you ready? Thanks, man. Yeah, I got uh, six fifty for it. So the person who, and it's funny. This is this is what's awesome about that. Somebody offered me five hundred a month ago. I countered with five fifty five and fifty five cents because it was a five out of five card. Person didn't even bother to respond. They just let it expire. I said, you know what? I'll wait till the season comes in. Soto blasts a walk off. And I post it for a hundred dollars more, and I got an offer for six fifty. 
So the person who offered 500 and declined the extra $55 and 55 cents, uh, <laughs> should be kicking themselves in the butt right now. Well, when it sold, guess who sent me an email asking me how much it sold for? The guy who declined the uh, to respond to my offer. And when I told him 650, he did not even respond to the email. So, yep, he's he's kicking himself in the butt. Brett has five. Hit Parade Soccer 21, 18 Prism. Laser Edition, 65 out of 100 will get us started. Well, it was it was after it sold because it was best offer. So after it sold best offer, he contacted me to wonder how much I got for it. So I was very excited to tell him 650. I almost wanted to lie, but then I remembered that you could see uh, there's a site that can show you. So I was like, yeah, I'll just tell him the truth. 650. And uh, 10% goes to St. Jude's. A mini Ben no more. Bozil. That's nice. <laughs> Silva. Yep. Well, should have accepted my counter. Ah, there you go, man. Yep. All, every single, I, sh I, 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 I lie. I lie. Almost, nearly, very close to every single, um, sale I make on eBay. 10% always goes to St. Jude's. There has been a few exceptions to that. Um, times that I've just been really hard up for money that I just couldn't even afford to give a couple of dollars. Um, but I usually make it up by doing some of them at 15% instead of 10. Ndidi. Yotun. Sakai. Aguero. And Escobar. Yeah, <laughs> right? What? How dare you counter with a comically written five? No deal. Oh, I should have bought it for five fifty five fifty five. Wah. Jacob blah 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 blah. Ski. Arias. Kawashima. It is Enzo and Barsenas. Oh, I agree, man. I agree. One of the reasons I made them my go-to donation place is 100% goes to them. None of it goes to some fat cat rich person to curate the donations. It just all goes to them. Okoa. 
Guillermo. Ruiz and that guy. Seventy out of a hundred. Hector Girard Dimala Allison Sueva. And Almuad. Uh, yep, Oreo, I'm only live for another 10 minutes. I usually put a little bit of overtime in. Uh, because I try to complete all the breaks. Speaking of, Michael K. And Zach W. Are either of you here? You're welcome, Brett. Yeah, but Oreo, I do it Monday through Friday. So it's not like there's any lack of me being around. I'm like 7-Eleven. I might not be doing business, but I am almost always open. Oh, yeah, fits. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, I can still squeeze one or two more in. Mm, nope. I wish I had that sentence back. Wish I had that sentence back. All right, Fitz, you ready for round two? You're my boy, Blue. Misery. Gonna drive me to drink. I'm drinking straight out of the bottle of Absolute. Yes, Blue? Oh, Blue, it was really good. Did you see the picture? 
Never mind the pizza, he was not lying about those wings. There's a place here in Lockport called Fred's Pizza. I got to meet Fred, the owner. He was saying, you have to try my honey barbecue parm wings. And I was like, I'll try anything once. Holy Christmas. It's my new little obsession. I can tell you this. I will be going again this week. The pizza had one of the most perfect round pinch crusts. I, I'll show you guys pictures. I got to show you pictures. So these are these are the wings. They are honey barbecue parm. Look at this pizza. Look at the crust. Look how perfect. Look how perfect this crust is. All the way around. That is pitcher perfect. Ah, Doan, nice. <laughs> Trust me. Like I'm I'm critical. I'm <laughs> I'm critical. Um I bought the sweet sauce and my goodness the sweet sauce was just that. It was sweet. I'm gonna try the regular sauce. Um because I've had I've had the pizza before at his other location. Uh but apparently the place that I went to this time was his like home base. So uh I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try the regular sauce too, but oh man, I crushed I had like three wings there and then I wanted to eat pizza. As soon as I got home, I crushed the rest of the wings. All right, Fitz, last break of the evening. 2020 Immaculate Soccer. Let's see if this can hold a candle to the first one. It's been marinating just as long on the shelf, so it should be just as tender. Tillman's 99. Out of 50. Weigel. So there's not a lot of goalies that you could say are just absolutely lights out spectacular. But this guy's pretty good. Jordan Pickford. Out of 50. Luke Shaw, out of 99. From Crystal Palace, out of 50. Christian Benteke. Out of 10, Fernando Gago.
I have to be very, 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 very careful with this next one. Because I wouldn't want to bend it. Heaven forbid I bend it like Beckham. Out of 25, Mr. Posh Spice. <laughs> Told you, Fitz, they're marinating. Look at him with his full head of hair. Yeah, <laughs> the Gordon Ramsay. There you go. I'm not going to lie. I was getting a little worried. I was getting a little worried, and then I saw the, the gago. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. And then I saw this last one. I was like, oh, I'm not concerned anymore. <laughs> I'm not concerned anymore. Woo. Um, you could argue worldwide popula popularity? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bex, Ronaldo, Pele, you could argue Messi. Um, one of the biggest on the planet. You're welcome, bud. a second to upload so I don't forget Fitz, are you still hanging around? <clears throat> oh, I wish you could see this. There's your comp, buddy. It's about a $5,000 card. Um, if it's over 200, J Daddy, um, it would be free shipping anyway. But I'll, I'll take a look. Uh, these are out of 25. That in the middle is ex exact card. Uh, judging by the comps, it probably went for about five to six thousand.
so that paid for all of your breaks and spending money. Oh, I think they'll automatically put them together. <laughs> yeah, I love you too, Fitz. <laughs> yeah, yep. All right, everybody. It is uh, it is six minutes after. I love each and every one of you. And I can't wait to do this again tomorrow, but I can't do it without you. So please take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll all get together and we'll do this again. All right, take care.